short dark tales for long dark nights. It's a cold, damp and cheerless midwinter day. The sort of day where dawn and dusk shake hands at lunchtime and the light never really manages to subdue the darkness. A peat fire gently burns in the grate, casting flickering light and wavering shadows into the room. The rain lashes tirelessly at the window panes. The sweet smell of the peat pervades the air. The cold fingers of night creep into every nook and cranny, strangling what is left of the daylight. Thick stone walls stand fast against the storm, but the wind cries mournfully as it finds its way through the smallest of gaps around the leaded windows and thick oak doors. You light a candle, pull your large padded leather chair a bit near the fire, your friends and family gather round and the stories begin. And as you do so, a shiver runs down your spine. You feel that you are being watched, for indeed you are. It is believed that stories closely associated with the great suffering or tragedy can regenerate that anguish in some way. And those who are sensitive to such things can, in their turn, feel echoes of the torment. The stories you are hearing right now surely fit into this category. The anguish of Mary Collington, of the small village of Wolfalo, and her encounter with the Reaper that fateful night in 1765 could hardly fail to reflect her shock and terror. The gaulish fate of the gambler, who now plays his eternal game in hell, serves testimony to the futility of trying to outwit Satan himself. The grisly fate of Tom in the village of Hutton Cranswick must surely send ripples across the barrier of time. These are just some of the stories you are listening to. So yes, someone or something will be watching you. The forces of darkness, demons, devils and fiends are drawn by the very nature to such items and thence to those who listen to the stories. So, listen in the flickering light as the last of the struggling day fades away and the creatures of night creep forth. But, if, or perhaps that should be when, these creatures descend upon you and the horrors begin, don't blame me. You have been warned.